I would like to invite Dr. Wimin Bao to talk a little bit about introduction to BHPD Alliance. Thank you. Thank you, Anna. And I would like uh, uh, to express our um, gratitude to to the, uh, the National Lab and also especially to Anna for, for her hard work to establish all this work. And we, we met a few months ago, <laughs> last November, right, in Chile at a meeting. And uh, I'm, I'm really glad for, for Anna's uh, uh, great uh, enthusiasm to establish this, uh, uh, this collaboration. So, um, so let me uh, just, um, so our director share gave a brief introduction of our, um, our um, institute and let me uh, introduce our center. So although I'm the director of center uh, today, I'm going to uh, talk about another topic which is called Global Biodiversity and the Health Big Data Alliance, which is under the IUBS. Um, uh, our director just mentioned uh, uh, briefly, so I'll, um, I'll talk about the history, uh, a little bit history of what we are doing and uh, 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 how we, we come to this uh, alliance and what, what we are trying to achieve. So uh, just give you a, a, a background about big data, the big data in the big data world. So um, in 2015, the, the, there's a, um, oops, I'm sorry. Um, there's a society called uh, ICSU, so it used to be ICSU, so it's an uh, international council for science unions, scientific unions, but now they combine with scientific and social, natural science and social science, it's called ICU now, right? It's a, so it's a big unit, but anyway, so at that time, um, they were talk about, you know, um, um, global science has entered into a historic era in which big data and associated digital technologies are central to research on the array of human and environmental challenges. However, there's also an area of risk because access data is restricted and traditional scientific process has rigorous open scrutiny. And then developing countries especially are unable to fully participate in global scientific uh, enterprise. Uh, uh, for further behind, so there's a, a big challenge here. And uh, so f they are proposing for this uh, open data in the big data world, so proposed to fundamentally um, uh, principles and practices to support open access to big data using publicly uh, funded research. So this is some uh, background. And they are proposing, uh, they are actually identify responsibilities for all the uh, kind of different entities from scient scientists to research institutes and universities, publishers, funding agencies and societies, etc. of their, what they should have to do. And then for the, for the society, they said they should develop guidelines and the policies for open data, uh, promote the opportunities they offer in the ways that uh, reflect the uh, the norms and the practices of their, for the society members. And also, uh, they identify boundaries and openness. They said open data should be the, the default of position for publicly funded sciences. And there are some exceptions, but the, these are should really exceptions. Okay. And uh, uh, with the health um, aspect, um, here just list some of the top uh, 10 causes of uh, death in worldwide. So this is probably a little bit outdated, but it, you can get uh, a, a, the picture of this. So there's heart disease, uh, stroke, um, uh, low respiratory, uh, <laughs> respiratory uh, infectious, etc. Okay, so these diseases are, are uh, leading causes of health globally. 
And for <coughs> data challenge, and uh, my slides are kind of overlap with what uh, uh, Wei Ming just presented, so I'll just escape, skip all these uh, slides. And then, and these, these are just uh, some background about uh, Professor uh, She just talked about what uh, our institute is and what our big data center is, just what we talk about. So now I'm going to uh, get into uh, the BHBD uh, lines, Open Biodiversity in the House Big Data Center, House Big Data Initiative. So, uh, as I mentioned, this is uh, uh, under the umbrella of International Union of Biological Sciences. And by the way, um, our director is the, uh, one of the executive members of this uh, uh, society. And uh, um, uh, uh, I think in 2017, right, they are, um, they are called for um, proposals for in this area. So, so we just uh, submit this proposal and our objectives are to form a consortium of BHBB, uh, whose core members consist of countries and regions within IUBS. And then we are trying to develop a platform uh, for house data integration, translation, and sharing. And then to construct a big house data center containing a variety of uh, repositories and knowledge bases that are publicly accessible to worldwide communities. And then to promote the level of participation and the influence of IUBS in global, bi um, global biological research. So, um, and we are very glad that <coughs> our proposal was approved uh, again in 2017. And we, we uh, so, um, so it is officially on IUBS uh, website. And we also established our website and containing all these uh, uh, information about the society uh, of our alliance and uh, um, we uh, uh, we also um, uh, uh, developed this uh, status of this alliance so uh, basically reflecting some of the our, uh, objectives and how the members can uh, can join us and for for uh, develop of this alliance we uh, worked very uh, 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 we work with uh, different uh, uh, countries, and I think <coughs> Professor Shi just mentioned that different party. We, we start with working with Saudi Arabia, Pakistan, Russia, and Thailand, and uh, also uh, the the big data centers in in the world, including NCBI, EBI, and the uh, DDBJ, and of course the uh, the IEBS. And then uh, for, uh, for Pakistan, we uh, started to work with them uh, in 2017 and we visit uh, their university and we signed MOU. And uh, on the basis of that, we applied for a, um, for a national key R&D program in China. So this, this is uh, one of the, uh, the biggest research programs in China, so which is funded very heavily. And for and we are very uh, we we were successfully uh, re get awarded of this uh, grant, which is um, the amount is uh, four point three two uh, million RMB for three years. So this uh, project, especially work specific working on uh, omics uh, data and sharing. And then we work uh, with the uh, Thailand. So this is a workshop I went. In, in 2017, and we, uh, I uh, present the, our PhD program. And uh, at the meeting, uh, one of the professors, uh, Professor Suchinda from Chulalongkorn University, and she was very interested in joining this program. So we visited them in, in last year, uh, and we signed an MOU, and also they agreed to join the PhD uh, alliance. And then next country is Saudi Arabia. And uh, with this country, actually, we have long-term uh, history of uh, long-term collaboration with them established already. And we also visited them last year. And again, signed MOU, and uh, they, are, they are also willing to join the, uh, the BHB. Uh, and this is another, um, another um, 
program that we were awarded by the, the CAST, the Chinese Academy of Science. So it's an international partnership program uh, emphasizing on international collaboration. So again, it's a, it's a big project, 10 million RMB for five years. So we, uh, last year, uh, there's a progress report and our director made the progress and the, the, the funding agency is very satisfied and we were uh, graded uh, A for this project. And then the next country is Russia. And uh, again, we, we, were, we were very busy last year, so we visited them um, uh, in June. And uh, we visited two institutions. One is the uh, uh, Institute of uh, uh, Information Transmission Pro Problems. It's a very interesting uh, institute. And another institute is the uh, General Genetics Institute. And again, we signed as MOU, and they agreed to join the, uh, the BHBD. Alliance. So last year in October, we officially launched the uh, the BHBD Alliance in Beijing in our institute, and with the founding members from China, Pakistan, Russia, Saudi Arabia, and Thailand. And after that, very quickly, um, Nepal and the France uh, uh, also joined us, and we're hoping actually, uh, I talked with Anna, um, hoping that Brazil can join this uh, uh, alliance as well. So this is the work we are going to do in the next couple of days. So we officially launched this. Um, so this uh, we have had the first council meeting uh, during that time. And uh, just talk about the outcome of this uh, uh, PHPG alliance, although it's just been officially launched. So we've been working on several aspects. So with Pakistan, we actually had uh, two um, uh, symposiums with, uh, between Pakistan and China. So you can see that uh, with a large participation from uh, Pakistan. So this is the one in 2017, and this is the one in 2018. And also uh, with that, uh, the, the program, R&D program I just mentioned, we were able to, to fund uh, students and staff from their university to visit us for a, a period of uh, training. So in this particular one, we can fund five members of their staff to visit us three years every year. Uh, to